Coming off the victorious 92-mile range test, Paul, Steve, Paul, and Jacob eagerly planned for a more audacious range test of roughly 150 miles. From a line of sight perspective, a test between Wheeler Peak in Nevada and Mount Nebo in Utah looked good. From an exertion perspective, it looked challenging with Mount Nebo just under 12,000 feet and Wheeler just over 13,000 with no roads closer to the summits than 3,000 vertical feet and four miles away. After a longer than planned hike, both parties reached their summits. Estimating hiking times did not correctly account for the age or current training regimen of the engineers carrying the packs. As anticipated, upon reaching the summit, we could not see the distant peak where our co-workers co were setting up for the test. We pulled out our compass to get the antenna pointed in the proper direction and our cell phone to learn how the team on the distant peak was progressing. Pretty quickly, we got word over the phone that the remote XLR was transmitting. Unfortunately, this was not confirmed on our computer screen by an increasing count of received packets. No packets were coming through. The expected jubilation was now definite disappointment. We discussed what could be wrong. We re-aimed the antennas based on the coordinates and reset software. Still nothing. We tried many things in our bag of tricks and decided to trade out the radio on one end of the link and suddenly the link came to life. We were receiving data. The anxiety disappeared and was replaced with excitement. Using 6 dBi Yagi antennas with our radios, we had a solid link transmitting at 1 megabit per second over the 150 yeah, miles. Hey, we're getting packets. We're getting packets. You're getting 100%? 100%. We're 100%. We're 100. <laughs> Woohoo! 94%. is it's all now, huh? Darn. I'm at, I'm at 100. We're at 100. <laughs> All right. We're at 100, yes. Victory! Man, it, that's, man, that is a good thing to see. Because the noise floor was so low on these peaks, our results exceeded those of our 92 mile range test. When we dropped the data rate to about 10 kilobits per second, we could add 16 dB of attenuation between a radio and its antenna and still maintain a good link. With these results, the hike back to the car and the drive across the Nevada and Utah deserts was just tiring, not miserable and tiring.